All right, so I have a dog. She likes to just lay around and do nothing all day, except be fed. But honestly, if I had her walking around with me, I'm pretty sure she would attack somebody's ankle. And so that's why I play Ranger, because I feel like the kind of dream that I wish I had in real life is kind of emulated in the video game. What's up guys, it's Kiwi here today with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Ranger. Going a little bit of an analysis on the class itself, profession mechanics, Ranger mechanics themselves, I mean, the level of play, how good it does in World versus World PvP and PvE, and my opinion on whether or not this is a good starter class. As well, I'm gonna be trying to give out a couple of uh, tips and tricks that might help if you're trying to learn how to play Ranger. Maybe, maybe, or maybe not, they may uh, decrease the amount of time it takes you to get proficient enough in this class to be able to play it. But before I go into all those, I just wanna appreciate every single one of you. You're all beautiful people. And I thank every single one of you for supporting the channel, being a subscriber. We are currently working on the name for the community we have here. I'm not very good with, with coming up with things. So I left that to you guys as the community. Go ahead and click the link down below to get into that Discord channel and put a name in the name community contest, you have a chance at winning 200 gold and a Discord Nitro. As well, if you want to follow me on any of my other socials, they will be in the link down below and game affiliate codes. With that, let's go into Ranger. And if you don't mind, if you're new to the channel, you just discovered this because you are looking to play Ranger in Guild Wars 2, definitely click that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot, get this video in front of hundreds of other people. So you do make an impact and I really appreciate every single one of you who is subscribed and who will be a new subscriber at the end of this. All right guys, what I always like to do now is I like to go into the Gilbert's 2 Wiki. It has a very good way of breaking it down. You can get this in the description down below as well. So that way you can read on anything Wiki related. It really helps me a lot when I'm trying to understand the finer details of the game. So Ranger is very flexible and proficient with bow yet surgical with sword. Virtually Rangers are good at long range and short range. Mainly what uh, makes Ranger unique is the pet. The fact Ranger can pretty much have up to, I, I don't know, about like 30 different NPCs that are gathered throughout all of Tyria, which is really what makes it unique. You have all these different pets that have unique skills that you can actually trigger. It doesn't require the pet to trigger themselves. So that's what's called the act, uh, the behavior mode or whatnot. They have four skills. They are shared by pets. Um, you have a bunch of different skill types. Ranger is one of the classes that uses traps. Now Rangers have spirits as well. That's very unique to Ranger. Each spirit has a unique passive and uh, active ability. Survival skills. Those are mainly defensive types of skills. Signets, pretty much every class has a signet. Uh, signets are more of a balanced, well-rounded skill. So uh, each signet has a different passive and active utility as well. And then command skills. Commands are kind of skills or uh, that you share with your pets. These are all your utility skills. So anything from the six to 10 is going to be uh, one of these types of skills. Uh, additionally, you have the unique ones uh, to specializations. Glyphs are going to be for Druid. Druid is the first specialization, which is through Heart of Thorns. You can get that through unlocking the game. You only need to buy Path of Fire. You get both expansions. Then you also have Stance Skills. Stance Skills are skills that generally have positive effect for a few seconds. They, they like to pulse. For example, as a warrior, I like to go back to warrior. If I'm going to be using a balanced stance, it is one of the stances that uh, pulls stability. So kind of the same thing, just read through the stances whenever you get time, you can see which stances work best for you. Now, the specializations for Rangers, these are the trait lines you have. Obviously, I just mentioned you have Druid and Soul Beast, which are gonna be your elites, but you also have these other trait lines as well. Beast Mastery, Nature Magic, Wilderness Survival, Skirmishing, Marksmanship. Marksmanship, as you see there, is more of a damage trait line. It does also enhance your longbow so if you're looking to use a longbow, I definitely recommend if you're going to go more offensive, go with the marksmanship. It's going to definitely bring that up. Skirmishing is more on critical hits for both power and condition. 
as, and it also enhances your weapon swapping. These are the types of weapons that it does, sword, short bow, and also your trap skills. Wilderness Survival, that's more of a defensive trait line. Uh, it does protect you from conditions and also uh, does give you an enhancement on Torch Dagger and your survival skills. And Nature Magic uh, is more of a healing or boon generation and Beast Mastery focuses on proving beast skills. Now, Ranger, in my opinion, when I read these skills, it really kind of, the trait lines themselves, I believe, are really, really strong on Ranger. For the most part, there's there's a few different build diversities that you can use. You don't necessarily have to do, um, you know, if you're going all offensive, you don't have to go with just Marksmanship, Skirmishing, and, and Soul Beast. You can mix and match, create your own build. I do love the uh, custom ability that a Ranger has. So that's one of the pros if you're looking to play Ranger. Uh, you can kind of just experiment a little bit with these trait lines. In my opinion, they're all very, very good trait lines. You also have uh, Ranger traits. You can click the links on there below. They are medium armor as well. And the weapons that you can use, you have a few two-handed weapons like great sword, longbow, staff is more of a druid and short bow. That's more of a condition weapon, by the way. So longbow power, short bow condition. Main hand, you can also use an axe, dagger, and a sword. And offhand, you can also use axe, dagger, torch, warhorn, and then the aquatic weapons, which rarely you might not use, but if you want to, there they are, you can see them. Once again, certain weapons are stronger in certain aspects. For example, um, the longbow and greatsword are, are heavy damage weapons, and so, is, so are the axes themselves. Dagger are more of a condition weapon, so is short bow, and, and so is a torch. Uh, Warhorn is also a really good one to use if you're looking to use damage for more boon application. Now these are the pets that you can uh, unlock. What's cool about Ranger, if you're looking to do rain, or play Ranger in PvE, a lot of these pets you do have to go out on the uh, explore. So, Kind of a negative if you really want a really strong pet in the beginning of the game you may have to have a friend teleport you to get that pet the ones from uh, path of fire and heart of thorns however if you are just looking to pvp you do not have to unlock any of the pets they are automatically unlocked that's my only uh saving grace is that if you're looking to do that but if you're looking to do world versus world or, or pve content you ranger is probably the one class you have to kind of spend a little bit more time in pve to get the right pet for the meta builds if you're looking to be meta i just want to share some of the builds here they have a, a pretty good amount of selective builds rangers are pretty good in pve and also fractals open world and raids rangers are also really strong in world versus world however in pvp you may not see too many rangers actively playing the game so I like to reference some of the raids. If you're looking to do raiding content, one of the biggest, uh, you're probably gonna be looking at trying to be a healer. So if you're into that support level of gameplay, I definitely recommend a druid or a ranger to be the class that you choose. Now, if you wanna do, what I like about ranger is there is also the power application. Power is still really, really strong. So especially if you're looking to play a class in PVE that has a few different applications if you want to go power one day and then healing the next day. Ranger is a pretty good class to do that. It is not difficult to learn the heal druid build. It's very common and it's 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 kind of yeah, it's kind of difficult to master. However, um, I don't necessarily if you're looking to do uh, raid groups or training, then you you could just take it as it is. You know, if you're looking to do the patience in there. Um, and put in the time then then you can definitely be a good ranger mainly because of the the spirits you do have to worry about um making sure those things if, if i'm not mistaken and once again i'm on a different website so there's a four different websites that you can use to reference and, and triangulate if a specific build is good for yourself i definitely recommend doing your own research i'm just trying to break it down to you as fast as possible and make uh you know an educated opinion just based on the amount of time i've invested in guild wars 2 so soul beast i love having a soul beast when i'm doing fractals if if i see somebody who is playing soul beast and wants to join a party they're probably the first person i pick up they're really really strong they synergize well they're very independent they don't require somebody to constantly do a lot of boon applications for them to be able to maximize their dps and so uh, acquiring basics it doesn't it's not really hard at learning however mastering it is a little difficult i don't really expect a lot of soul beasts in all honesty to be masters because i feel like the average 
DPS the Soul Beast can put out is better than the DPS that another class can put out if if someone is just a little bit more proficient. So all things being equal, I would I would probably pick up a Soul Beast. I, hopefully that gives you confidence, especially if you're looking at picking up a Soul Beast as a new class to be able to uh, enjoy it. Now, from my experience, I have about, and my only experience really with Ranger from a personal perspective, I've played the class mostly in PvP, a little bit in World vs. World and PvE, but just if you're looking for PvP, I want to talk a little bit about that. So Ranger is a little bit more difficult. It does have a high damage. However, just like in any of the other game modes, to learn the mechanics is a little bit of, um, it, it's, it's really average, however, in order for you to master this class, it does require a little bit of, of timing and, and due diligence, mainly because you don't want to be wasting a lot of your skills. Um, and for the most part, there there are ways to play around it. You can't just button mash. I know it looks like that's what I'm doing, but there's a lot of different mechanical features that, that you can do, especially if you're looking to use a longbow. So one of the tips that I, it took me a while to learn that might help you Guild Wars 2 is a very mobile game. People like to run around a lot. And when I played Ranger, I was no different. I was running around constantly, especially in Longbow, which makes it really difficult for anybody to hit a target because if they walk behind you, then they are probably going to be out of line of sight and you won't be able to land any of your skills. Longbow has some pretty good applications. So one of them being a knockback and the other one being a stealth. If you stand still while you're using your longbow, your character will automatically turn into the direction that your enemy is looking. So it traces it and it really will save you a lot of time if you just do that first and foremost and train your mind to be able to stand still a lot of the time when you're using your longbow. I definitely recommend first off is positioning yourself in a place where you'll be safe for the most part. I mean, this thing has like 1500 range. But ideally, it's still pretty easy to get knocked down in this class. So high damage application. They did nerf it a little bit in the last patch, uh, Druid at least. Most people were playing a little bit of a bunker build. So at the end of the day, I like playing Ranger. It's very fast paced. However, once again, you have to be mindful because it, like I said, it may look like I'm doing a lot of damage, but it does not take much for me to be completely annihilated by the enemy team. I could be one shot if I'm not paying attention, and that's happened multiple times. So take it for what it is. I definitely think Ranger's good. Um, most people might say, oh, Ranger's really, really strong. It's actually easy to play. Um, I get you know, destroyed by a Ranger all the time, have it. But to be honest with you, that's probably because the Rangers you're fighting, the few and far in between ones, are actually the only Rangers left that are still good enough um, really to play this class. And as you see there, it didn't take much for me to get annihilated. That happens quite frequently. There's many times where I see people coming into Guild Wars 2 or that I've actively been playing it that get beat by a Ranger and they think it's pretty easy to just pick up this class and, and go ahead and, and win the game. But that's not the case. Um, you really have to be wary of, of what you're doing. So the Rangers that you do see that are pretty good, um, they're the ones who've been playing a lot. And for the most part, the ones who think that Rangers are really overpowered class get into the game and just get obliterated by everything else. That does tons and tons more um, amount of, well, that has more survivability and, and keeps up with the amount of damage. So that's all I'm going to speak to on that. Other tips that I want to give you when speaking to Ranger is uh, making sure that you're managing your pet's HP. So one of the things that took me a while to learn as well was to make sure to use one, your F2 skill or your active skill. As you see here on the screen, my pet has a skill on its function bar as well. All your function skills are actually your pet skills. And so the biggest thing is to make sure that you're using those at the right time. You're not wasting those. Those are really, really useful. The smoke skill, as you can see, I, I use it to get stealth. But you also want to make sure that uh, your pet doesn't die. A lot of what Ranger's mechanic is based on is making sure that the pet is alive. If your pet's dead, then you're kind of um, really, you have to wait and it takes a while for them to get their HP back up. So that's another thing. Make sure your pet's HP doesn't go down um, all the way back to zero. And yeah, that's pretty much what I would say. Uh, if you're looking to learn Ranger, um, one of the builds that you might want to learn first is Core Ranger. Core Ranger is really, really good in my opinion. I love it as a, as a, as a build and a class. 
and I think uh, for the most part it's probably going to be the most fun to learn and then you can go to soul beast or druid so overall let's just say you're coming into go wars 2 for the first time and you are very interested in playing ranger i definitely think this is a really good starter class for pve and world versus world especially if you have no problem roaming the map and finding your own pets that might be appealing to some people definitely um as as you know journeyman explorers or whatever the proper vernacular is for that so yeah definitely pick up ranger as a starter class it's really really good to use you have the spirit applications and your pet can help you go through a lot of the pve content itself anyways guys hey thanks for sticking around watching this video and i will see you all on the next one stay awesome